welcome back to my channel and if you are new here please remember to like and subscribe today's video is my first ever sort of official challenge i've decided to do the being vegan for 24 hours challenge and um, not just for the sake of a challenge but because i actually genuinely have an interest in what vegan food is like what it tastes like and how it affects me i think it's amazing that people are vegan um i, I really wish i could be vegan myself however there are lots of reasons behind being vegan and um, whether it be um, just to be animal cruelty free or whether because you generally like the taste or your own you know everyone's sort of got their own opinions i do eat meat um i am an a meat eater but a lot of the time i do eat a lot of vegetarian food as well when i have a sunday roast i tend to have a vegetarian Sunday roast just because I prefer veggie sausages than meat I find it tend to waste a lot of the meat it gets a bit too filling for me and I thought I'd start the challenge tonight so the first thing I'm gonna have is the Good Fellas vegan stone baked pizza the falafel falafel I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's this pizza so it's got this spicy tomato sauce and lots of toppings I'm not quite sure what's on there but it's vegan <laughs> literally the amount of times I looked out for the word vegan um, throughout today's shop and it was quite hard finding it to be honest but I think I've done well and um, apologies in advance as well if I haven't quite got everything vegan obviously I'm very new to vegan lifestyle and um, it's actually very interesting to be honest and um, how many sort of like alike foods you can get which are vegan friendly but yes I'm gonna have the pizza tonight um, so I'm going to start it tonight to get the ball rolling and we'll carry on till tomorrow evening for the next 24 hours. So tomorrow morning, the plan is for breakfast to have the Asda Own Bran Flakes. These are vegan friendly as well. I'm not sure whether you can see there, but these are vegan friendly. And I'm going to have that with the soya and sweetened milk. So I've never had <laughs> this milk. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. I, I don't know what I'm getting myself in for, but it's, I'm looking forward to trying all these new foods. I'm also going to have, for a sort of like a morning snack as well, some seeded bread. I'm not sure whether this is vegan or not. Um, the guy in Asda told me it was, um, so apologies in advance if it's not or anything I've got is not vegan. I am trying my hardest. But I got this bread and to go with the bread, I'm just gonna have some vegan cheese, which I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but it'd be very interesting. I've also got for lunch time tomorrow to have some plant-based butternut mac. So I'm guessing this is an alternative for mac and cheese, but just without the cheese part. And to go with this, I've also got the plant-based no no zella no zellara sticks which i'm guessing is alternative to mozzarella sticks on another snack throughout the day i decided to go for the strawberry soya milk free yogurts and these are vegan friendly as well so i just thought it'd be nice to have sort of snacks throughout the day this is probably more than i eat in an actual day if i'm honest um, and then for tea time i've gone with the ultimate vegan burger oh it's got a bit of fluff on with the plant-based mushroom ar arasini i'm not sure that i said that right but it's sort of like plant-based mushrooms which looks very yummy and also to go with that i've gone for the broccoli and courgette rice i don't think this is vegan but they didn't have any vegetables i like to get the steam bag ones so apologies if this is not quite vegan but it's just to kind of go with my meal because it looks rather healthy however this challenge Although it's vegan, I'm not going for everything healthy because I've got a chocolate protein bar here. <laughs> um, the Naked Cocoa Delight bars and they are vegan friendly as well, which I think it says on the back. But correct me if I'm wrong. Also, I've got the dessert. So dessert is my favourite part of the meal of course so you've got the smooth chocolate dessert and this is also vegan friendly i didn't know what to have which is vegan friendly um for a drink so i'm probably just gonna drink water throughout the day i might even try the milk because i do look i am a huge milk drinker however i'm not sure whether this is the milk that i will drink um 
you know, for fun throughout the day. So we'll just have to see. But that is everything I bought. It was so hard to try and find things without a very vegan friendly. I did have to ask a lot of people around um, in the shop as well to help me. Because <laughs> obviously I'm a newbie to all of this. This video is purely because I thought, why not do a video on vegan food? I'm trying something new. I'll get my reaction filmed first handedly. And also, it's always good to try, you know, new things. And I just thought, you know what? Why not? But all opinions are my own and, you know, each their own. There's no dis disrespect to any vegans or any non-vegans. This is just me doing my little part of trying something new. So I hope you enjoy this video. The time has come to try the vegan pizza, which I'm really looking forward to because I'm a massive pizza lover. So I'm going to put the camera by here. Great. You can see that. Ooh. I'm not quite sure what's on here, but it looks to me like it looks a bit of spinach, um, tomatoes, peppers, and onions as well. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven for I think it's 16 minutes. The time has now come to take it out the oven. Oh my god, that smells delicious. Oh, that looks amazing. It smells amazing. Bloody lovely. So I'm gonna try it for the first time. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. Because I normally get barbecue pizza. That was actually so nice. This is actually very spicy, but the pizza itself, like it doesn't taste off. I mean, if you're somebody who doesn't like veg and that, then yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it, but I really like it. So it's breakfast time. We're gonna have the bran flakes and we're gonna have the unsweetened soya milk. Obviously, bran flakes are bran flakes, but I've never tried the milk before, so it'll be interesting to see what my reaction is. So it obviously smells a bit different. I can't describe the smell. Um, it just smells like soya. I don't even know if soya has a smell. <laughs> but here it goes. So. so I normally have sugar, but I'm not having sugar for this video. It literally, to me personally, it tastes like water <laughs> with a drop of milk in it. So it's like very watery milk, if you get what I mean. It's not horrible. Like I could drink this. I probably wouldn't choose to drink it on a regular. But it's definitely something to drink. <laughs> So next up, we're gonna have the seeded bread with the vegan cheese. So I'm gonna put this in the oven to toast, if that makes sense. I'm gonna basically cheese on toast, but in the oven, because that's how you do it. I'm gonna do two slices. Stick it in cheese. You can't already tell I love cheese. <laughs> so put the oven on. I don't want to drop this. So I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for that to cook and then we'll see what it tastes like. A few moments later. Mmm. I actually prefer that over normal cheese. I like this one. Do you know what? Oh, <laughs> I nearly fell over the bloody thing. Do you know what? I actually enjoyed that so much. I'm going to do two more. Actually, so nice. I don't even know what's different about it. Um, 
to be fair, I haven't really done my research. I'm just wanted to try some new things. But, oh my God, I actually really liked that. Yay. So it's finally lunchtime. Um, I'm not really sure whether this is an awkward angle, but we'll just work with it anyway. So for lunch, I'm gonna have, as mentioned earlier on this video, the plant-based buttermilk mac. So it is an alternative to mac and cheese. It does have a cheddar alternative. Um, with breadcrumbs and paprika finish, which sounds absolutely lovely. I'm also going to have the plant-based nozzarella sticks, which is an alternative for mozzarella sticks. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven now. I'm actually really excited for this, because this is like my everyday meal anyway. I love like mac and cheese and mozzarella sticks. So it's quite nice to try it like sort of more of a plant-based version of it. So I can't wait. I'm excited. So I'm going to try a bit of the mac now. That actually it tastes so nice. It tastes a lot like mac and cheese, to be honest. Uh, but obviously it doesn't have um, the cheddar in it. It has an alternative, which I'm not actually sure what it is. It tastes so nice. Also going to try the nozzarella stick. So let's go for it. Hmm. They're both very... Um, similar to the actual thing just I guess a more healthier plant-based version and um, it doesn't taste like cheesy as such but it tastes very similar if that if that makes sense a little bit but I really like this I'm also going to try the naked chocolate protein bars that I did mention earlier on in the video so let's go for it hmm If I'm honest, <laughs> I can't say I'm a fan of this and I don't think I'm going to finish it either. I don't even think it's because it's vegan. I just think it's just the taste. It's very like chewy um, to chew, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like the actual bar is quite chewy. I was chewing for ages just trying to get it down. And obviously it's not quite chocolate. It's more of a cocoa, which I know is similar, but it's not as nice as chocolate. So just in general, the taste, I just... I'm not a fan, if I'm honest. Now we're going to try the milk-free soy yogurt in the flavour strawberry. It actually says on the packaging that it is yogurt-free, so I'm not actually sure what it is, <laughs> but it's basically a yogurt, but yogurt-free, if that makes sense. It's the same sort of texture as a yogurt, but it's be interesting to see what it tastes like. This is probably my <laughs> least excited one, so here it goes. Okay, that isn't as bad as I thought. Oh my God, why am I so out of breath? <laughs> it isn't as bad as I thought. It feels a lot thicker than a yogurt. Um, and it is, again, like that sort of taste that I had with the soya milk um, as such. It's not that bad, to be fair. It actually tastes quite sweet. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it actually is really nice. Like, it wouldn't be what I would choose. Oh my God, the sun is in my eyes. It wouldn't be actually what I would choose um, if I was gonna go shopping as such, but it wasn't bad. So that's a good thing. So for tea, I'm gonna have the ultimate vegan burger. I'm also gonna have this with the plant-based, um, mushroom arasini which is prepared with mushrooms rice and mozzarella alternative coated in a poppy seed bread crumb so this is my last meal of the day i love a good burger and i love mushrooms so can't go wrong so i'm not sure whether this oil is vegan friendly or not but it's the only oil i have so i am gonna have to use this when i'm doing the burger I think I've got way too much there. So I'm not sure whether I'm actually gonna like this burger. It's made from beetroot, sunflower seeds, and carrots and other things, but it just smells so strong. And if I remember, I don't think I like beetroots. I obviously didn't read that properly when I first bought it, but I can't knock it till I try it. So here it goes. So I just had to drain a bit of the oil because it was really oily. <laughs> So I think that's pretty much 
quite a little bit. I'm gonna try a bit of a burger first. Mm. It was actually really nice. I think it's a bit on the burnt side, but mm, it's really nice. The aftertaste is a little bit different. Um, but the aftertaste is more of what's in there, like the beetroot, the carrots and whatever else is in there. It's the same with a beef burger. The aftertaste is beefy because it's a beef burger. But no, that was actually really nice. I'm also going to have a little taste of the mushrooms. That was really nice as well, to be honest. The mushrooms are what I thought they'd be anyway. Um, but no, I'm really happy with this meal. I really like it. And to be fair, like, I think my expectations for trying vegan food were very different to what I thought, what well, what they actually are. Um, so I'm really happy with this. So to finish off this video, we've got a chocolate dessert, which is great because I do love a chocolate pudding and it is also vegan friendly as well. Okay, so it tastes a lot like that cocoa taste that was in the protein bar and um, that's probably because it's milk free so it's gonna taste like that it wouldn't be something I'd probably eat regularly to be honest but it isn't bad I find it sort of tastes like the typical chocolate dessert that you have when you go for like afternoon teas and sometimes it's a bit of an off taste but it's not terrible to be honest so that's the main thing. <laughs> My video has now come to an end. I just also want to put out there that I do normally have <laughs> ketchup with everything, but I'm not sure whether it's vegan or not. But also I wanted to have the full effects and taste um, the actual vegan food properly without having any ketchup on. But yeah, I've really enjoyed filming this video and it honestly has taught me a lot. A vegan is more than just a hype and a trend. It is a it is a lifestyle and I understand many people choose to be vegan for whether it be a lifestyle change, whether it be the health benefits or just in general animal cruelty free. There are many reasons why someone turns vegan. I am safe to say that I'm probably not going to ever be sort of a full-time vegan. However, I will incorporate the food into my, my everyday diet because I did really like like a lot of the things I tried especially the vegan cheese I absolutely love that but yeah no I really enjoyed um filming this video and thank you to everyone as well that took the time to watch this video and supporting this challenge I also found um with vegan food I was spending a lot more money than I would normally um on a food shop however I did speak to a lovely lady who said that at the moment because vegan is such a new lifestyle it's very expensive and um, because they've got not a lot of competition at the moment but hopefully um, with time it'll become a little bit cheaper and more affordable but I did really enjoy this experience I'm glad I did it so thank you for everyone watching and please remember to like and subscribe see you in my next video